Okay, so th this new thing is a what-if question, and before we get into it, let's just take a quick look at our Redox table and get to know it a little better. On the Redox table, we have a whole list of elements, and they all have voltages assigned to them, and these voltages are not absolute numbers. All of these voltages are... They picked one of these reactions and said, we're going to call this one zero just because we need one of them to be zero, and we'll pick something that's easy for chemists to set up. And it turns out hydrogen is a fairly easy cell to set up. You just put some acid in water and you're there. And so they said, we'll make this reaction have a voltage of zero. And now the voltages for everything else are based on, are you stronger than hydrogen? If so, by how many volts? Or are you weaker than hydrogen? If so, by how many volts? So you could say we're on the hydrogen standard here. All of these voltages are, how good are you at attracting electrons compared to hydrogen? And we have some things that are a little better and some things that are way better, and things that are a little worse and things that are way worse than hydrogen. And we use that standard and it works fine. Now this question says, what if the chlorine half-reaction had a voltage of zero? What if we lived on a chlorine-rich planet where this was super easy to get and we decided to make this our zero? What would that do to us? If that were our zero, well, what would you do to this number to get it down to zero? You'd have to lower it by 1.36 volts. So if you do that to chlorine, you take 1.36 off of it. That is now your new standard, 0, 0.00 volts. And if you want to build the rest of the table, you just go through every single one of these elements and lower it by 1.36 volts. So perchlorate right above here, which is normally 1.39, you take 1.36 off it. In chlorine land, it would only be ranked 0 0.03 volts, only a little bit higher than the, st the chlorine cell. If you went to fluorine, minus 1 point take 1.36 off it, you get, what is that, 1.51 volts? Still the very highest, just the number doesn't look as high compared to chlorine. If you did nitric acid here, sorry, nitrous acid, which is normally 1.30 volts, you take 1.36 off it, and you get negative 0.06 volts, meaning 0 0.06 volts weaker than the standard chlorine cell. And you could do that for all of these. So the question is, if chlorine was zero, okay, we've, we've explored that, what would be the reduction potential for copper? Well, where's copper? Here we are. Here is copper. On the hydrogen scale, its voltage is 0 0.34 volts. How do we get the new one? Take 1.36 off it, just like all the others. Minus 1.36. And we find in chlorine world, its ranking would be one, minus 1 1.02 volts, meaning it's 1.02 volts lower than the chlorine standard. So this would come out to minus 1.02 volts. Now in B, they do the same thing again, but they change standards on us. Now they're saying, what if the aluminum half reaction was our standard? What if aluminum was super convenient to get, and so we made it our zero? Well, where's aluminum now? Here we are. This is the aluminum cell. And on the hydrogen standard, it's minus 1.66 volts. So if we want to make this our zero, what do you do? Raise it up by 1.66. That would be enough to make it our zero level. And now that we know that, we could change, we could go through this list and add 1.66 onto every one of these and get that would be the aluminum that would be our our redox table based on the aluminum standard now i don't want to do all of these so let's just see what their question is 
if aluminum reaction was zero, blah, 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 what would be the reduction potential for iodine? All right. Where's iodine? I think it's around here somewhere. Yep, here we are. Here is iodine reduction. In our world, it's 0 0.54 volts. In the aluminum world, you'd add 1.66 to it. Because, again, aluminum normally is minus 1.66 volts. If you want this to be your zero, you have to add this much to get it there. And you'd have to be fair, you'd have to add 1.66 volts onto absolutely everybody. So 0 0.54 plus 1.66 makes, if I am not mistaken, 2.20 volts.